Hello, you martial artists, martial artists at heart, martial artists at metatarsal. The toe bone's connected to the toenail bone. And a special good and talk to all you cross-dressing Amish soccer moms. You know who you are. Question for you today. If you're a martial artist, do you practice martial arts or do you study martial arts? Practice. Study. Practice. Study. Practice. Study. Practice. Study. Practice. Study. <sighs> Home Alone face. Now why would I ask you a question like, are you practicing or are you studying martial arts? Is that even a non-trivial thing to ask? Is there a difference between study and practice? And if so, isn't it just minute? Aren't I just picking nits here? Eh, I don't think so. Because to me they're vastly different. I might even say they're opposite concepts. In normal everyday usage, study kind of implies a mental activity. You study for an exam, you study physics, you study literature. Or practice kind of implies honing physical skills. You practice baseball. You practice football. You practice your tennis serve. The only exception I can think of today would be like doctors. Doctors practice medicine. That makes me a little nervous though. If my doctor's just practicing, why is she practicing on me? Who is she practicing up for? Is it possible to find a doctor that's not practicing, that's maybe, you know, doing? I'd feel better if my doctor was doing. I'm just saying. In my mind though, I don't generally split practicing and studying up into physical and mental categories. My definition of practicing is more something similar to repetition. The idea is that I'm taking some sort of a skill, whether it be mental or physical, or a combination of both, such as martial arts, and I'm doing it over and over and over, over and over and over, over and over and over, to make it smoother, to burn it into my neural pathways, essentially to make it mine. Studying to me is more of an examination, an exploration. I'm digging into something. I'm digging deeper. As the fast track business guys say nowadays, I'm drilling down. Let's drill down. I'm drilling down. We need to drill down a little more. All right, we can drill down as long as BP's not involved. I'm just saying. The reason I say they're the opposite, the purpose of studying is to expose those things that you take for granted, those things that you do unconsciously and examine them. The fact is, is if you've been doing it for a while, you're gonna be doing it automatically without thought to what you're doing. Those are the keys to smoothness and fluidity. It's burned into our brain. We can do it without thinking. Just like I'm driving this car without thinking at all where I'm going. I don't know what, even know where I'm at. Practice is the opposite. It's taking something that you don't do automatically, that you can't do automatically very well, and just doing it over and over and over and over until you can do it over and over and over automatically and smoothly and fluidly. The reason I draw the the reason I draw the distinction between these two things is I, I forgot. You need to be able to do both in order to progress as a martial artist. Whatever level you're at, you can do a specific movement or a specific kata or a specific series of movements at a, at a certain level in terms of effectiveness, speed, power. If you want to prove that first do is study it. As you're studying it, you learn things that are maybe slowing you down, strenuous movement. You're going to find some movements that can be improved. So in effect, it's taking the unconscious and making it conscious. Things you do unconsciously, now you consciously think about them, you study them. Once you do that, you make improvements, but now it's going to be awkward. Hey! Hey! Because you haven't been doing it that way not second nature, it's not automatic. In order to do that new, improved version, new and improved, you have to do them consciously. You have, to re you have to stop yourself from doing it the way you've always done it and add in these new movements or these new ways of doing movements. And so the only way to do that is consciously. You have to think it through. Well, we know that what happens when we try to do martial arts while we're thinking. You look like a spaz. It's just not smooth at all, it's messy. So we practice it until it becomes ours again. And we practice until those conscious movements become unconscious again. So, those two are opposite. Studying is making the 
unconscious conscious so that we can examine it and improve it and practice is making the conscious unconscious so we, we begin to do it automatically smoothly quickly efficiently and it's not hampered by thinking because most everything I do is hampered by thinking I, th I think toenail bone so in conclusion study is making the unconscious conscious practice is making the conscious unconscious or automatic in order to prove you just have a continuous cycle that goes between those two first your sensei teaches you a task it's going to be conscious because you're following this person it's not going to be yours you practice it because until it becomes automatic or unconscious then you take that which you know is not good enough analyze it fix it okay and that's making the unconscious conscious then once you've done that you practice that so you get that new and improved version down then you tear that apart then you get good at that then you tear that apart then you get so there you have it. Till next time, don't eat Mexican food, stand next to a fire, don't eat Japanese food at all, always seek peace. That's all, folks. Bye. Okay, then you tell me, what is the toenail bone connected to? Hmm?